Recently, a relative of mine was approached at a gas station in New Jersey or New York by a pretty shady character uh, late in the evening asking him if he wanted to buy 12 uh, silver dollars. Now, there were a couple of seated dollars, uh, about four peace dollars, and six Morgan dollars for the hefty price of about $85, which probably should have been his first clue that maybe these coins weren't legitimate. But in any event, he thought this shady character may have uh, had these coins by nefarious means, such as stolen coins, and was just trying to unload them real quick. So he forked over the $85, and uh, later that evening called me, and I told him to do the simple test on the coins, which was the magnet test. And uh, he quickly realized that he'd been duped. All 12 of the coins um, were magnetic, so they weren't real. So he bought 12 fake silver dollars. And what I've done here, I picked out four of the silver dollars that uh, he bought, and I have four somewhat matching silver dollars uh, that are authentic. In the uh, top left, you'll see a 1924 piece dollar. One's real, one's fake. In the top right, those are both 1903 Morgan dollars, one real, one fake. The uh, bottom left, are both 1887s, one real, one fake, and on the bottom right, uh, two 1885s, one real, one fake. So I, um, although I knew they was fake, I wanted to compare them to my actual coins and see if I could tell the difference. I did a number of things. Uh, the first thing was orientation test by flipping them over to see if their orientation matched. And I'll just do these two piece dollars real quick. And they, the orientation, nothing was off. So that looked okay. Uh, of course, when you examine each one of these individually closer, you're going to see some differences that will pop out at you. But just saying you didn't know enough about coins, they look okay, the orientation's right. I did the measurement test on each one of these. Uh, they're supposed to be approximately 38 millimeters, so I put this little caliper here which is set at about 38 on every one of these the real and the fake and they all match up uh, the copies are pretty good I also brought the scale down to the 2.4 millimeters for the thickness and all eight of those coins you're staring at same thing the thickness is right on so whoever did it did a good job they just used the wrong type of metal so um, the uh, next test, uh, we're going to do these individually now. I'll zoom in on each set, and you can make your guess before we determine. Because right now, unless you're picking up something that may be obvious on a few of these, uh, they look legit. So uh, the next test we're going to do is the weight test. As you know, uh, Morgan and Peace dollars should be around 26.7 grams. And given that there's wear on coins and... I could even tell you some of these fake ones have a lot of wear on them to make them look legitimate. Uh, depending on how much wear there is, you're going to lose uh, some grams on it. They should never be over, obviously, so if any of these were over, that'd be a clue. But uh, if they're under, it depends how far under they are. Probably not more than 5% would be a maximum. If the deviation from the 26.73 is more than 5%, then I'd be uh, suspicious. So I'm going to turn this off and reset it, and we'll go one by one, starting with the piece dollars. Okay, here's a close-up of the two piece dollars, and uh, you guys that are real good at this are going to notice right off the bat, uh, I believe that you would term that the designer's mark. It's missing on the fake one. So probably right off the bat, you know which one's fake, which one's not. Okay, the next test will be the weigh test. 26.7. That one's probably legit. Let's take the other one. 17.6. Definitely a fake. And if I zoom in one more time, if you look under the neck, you'll see the absence of the designer mark on that fake one. And just as that final test, which we already knew this, I have this wrench with a magnet on it. I'll hover it over the good one, nothing, and it just grabs that fake one right off the bat. Okay, there's a close-up of the 03 Morgans. 
Uh, can you tell which one's fake right off the bat? And if I had to call it without knowing better, I'd say it's the one on the left. Uh, really looks good. It looks like it may have been cleaned. And the toning on it doesn't look quite right. The one on the right, however, looks to have a little bit more normal wear in it. Does anyone see anything? I'm not sure I do. Let me flip both of them over and we'll study those. <clears throat> Again, that one on the left, if I was saying right, I meant the left, really looks uh, in really fine condition. I'm not saying the one on the right is that bad. Uh, there are different mint marks. The uh, 03 has a CC mint mark. The one on the uh, right, the one on the left is not. Twenty six seven. That's probably legit. And the other one, twenty one seven. That's probably the fake. And just to verify that again, I already know this. It sticks to the magnet. So, although it passed the measurement test and maybe the looks test, that one's fake by weight and by magnetic test. There's the 287s. The one on the left really looks like it's got a lot of wear on it. it looks like it has the natural aging tone. I'd bet that's the real one, just looking at these. The one on the right looks really good. So we'll do the weight test and then the magnetic test on both these real quick. We'll start with the one that looks really good. 21.4 and the one that looks good looks like it should be 25.7 so that's a whole gram less but that's still well less than 5% and that is a worn coin so you would expect that it would lose a little bit and going back to the other 87 of course it just grabs onto the magnet Right, here's the final one for comparison, the 1885s. Um, the one on the left looks like it's in excellent condition. The one on the right has some wear on it, but it looks like it's been cleaned and maybe retoned. So, looking at those, do you see anything? Probably what jumps out at you is look at the date, 1885. There is a big difference in the typeset on both of those. So which one is it? Let's do the weight test and the magnet test. 21.4, probably the fake one. And this one that looks like it's been cleaned and toned, 26.5. Now it has a lot of wear, so that's why I'm pretty confident someone had cleaned that at one time. Because it actually looks too good and it looks like some fake toning on it. But it's within the uh, deviation allowed for the weight. Okay, here's all 12 of the thick silver dollars, and uh, this one's probably most interesting, the 1804. If that was legitimate, my cousin probably became a millionaire overnight. But I just wanted to do this little video to uh, show some of the three simplest tests, the measurement, the weight test, and the magnetic test. In addition to that, You'd have to get the book out and learn about some of the fine details that should or should not be on these coins uh, and pick out those differences as well, such as on that peace dollar, the absence of the uh, designer mark under the neck.